Hi there paint shoppers, welcome to my site and welcome to this video tutorial. What I'm going to discuss on this one, I'm going to show you how to do, is to do a solarization. Now a solarization comes from the old wet dark room area. It was uh, a situation where you'd expose a print, a piece of paper, in your enlarger, you'd throw it in the, uh, the developing bath, let it go for a while, then you'd pull it out, shake it off, put it into another tray, and put a very low intensity light on it say 10 15 watt uh, for a couple seconds then you'd put it back in and finish the development what it was supposed to do was turn the whites black and the blacks white and make some very strong lines i always loved this and tried to do it in my dark room hey i found lots of ways to fail uh, it just didn't work very well for me and it's uh i wasted a lot of paper doing it too so now with Paint Shop Pro, I can do it easily and it, it really works quite well. You've got a couple choices here. You can do one that's uh, built into Paint Shop Pro. It's called Solarization and it's in the art Artistic Effects right here at the bottom. Okay, and what it is, is you've got this just is one adjustment. That's the, the, the high end of the adjustment. There's the low end. Now that's more like I would look to be a solarization. Uh, you can go up here to these, uh, there's a high, and this is low, 220, and this is medium. So they're okay. You know, it's not too bad with this one. Um, I typically don't care to do one that the program has set out. I'd rather do my own, and I hope you would rather do your own too, because that's what I'm going to show you. Okay, so to do that, first I'm going to make a, a copy of this just because it's a good idea, good practice. Now, to do your solarization, what you want to do is go to the adjustment layers, curves. Okay, now we're into this full full view mode here. And there, 23%. If you don't like this full mode, you, know, you can turn this off and you come down here and just do preview on image, whatever you like. Uh, I'm kind of in between the two of them. So what I'm going to do is start this off. We're going to put a, a, a point right here, and we've got one up here. Then we're going to take and we're going to drag this guy down, and then we're going to go up all the way with this one. Okay, so that's turned things back. So that looks okay already. Now, typically what you're going to do is you're going to put a point here and a point here, and you're going to pull these guys in. And I always pull them in so just so it, it stays doesn't lie on the bottom line there. I, I don't know if that's any good or not. This is all by uh, by what you think is right. And there's the other side. There you go. Isn't that neat? Now you can move these around. Uh, if you want, you can bring it down here. And you can bring this one down here. You can move them anywhere you want. This is all what you think is right, what you like the looks of. Okay, there. That, that sparked it up, didn't it? Okay, let's hit OK, and there we go. Now, one more thing you can do, if you feel so inclined, you can go up here and make a new curves layer. And how be, you do the whole thing all over again, see what happens. I have no idea what's going to happen. It just came to me, so I don't know what's going to happen. It may be awful. And I'm going to take this up, and maybe my computer can't handle it. Oh, well, it's starting to look kind of cool, isn't it? I'll take this one over. This is a, uh, a voyage of discovery for all of us. Eh, okay. Oh, wow. Now I'm going to say okay there. Now, just, just to be really difficult, I'm going to add one more curves layer on top and just make an S-curve. Okay, going to put one here, put one here, drag that one up, and drag this one down. Let's see how that looks. Okay, so I've done that one. Let's see. It's a very subtle change. So you can go and you can say, okay, that's that's not bad. Maybe this is a bit extreme. We'll go there. And we can take that one off. I kind of like that one there. Although I like these subtle gray shades in here. So it, it's all very personal preference -y. Whatever you like the best. Now, as you noticed on the original of this, I started off with a black and white image. Now, I've got another one here to fiddle with which is a color image. 
not much of a color image, but you got this red thing here, and you got some yellowy things going on in this blue letter. So let's see what happens with this one. I've made a copy of the background, so if I want to bring back some of the color later, I can do that. Okay, so I think I'm going to, ch I always change these into black and white. To me, that's important. So I'm going to go up to the, because you can do it with color, but it looks weird. The colors get all strange uh, that to me. Maybe to you, the colors are beautiful that way. Each to their own, right? Okay, uh, hue and saturation, hue, saturation, lightness. I'm just going to drag the saturation down, and it's taking all the color. But we still got the color in the background, so we're, we're okay there. Okay, so we're going to add on the curves layer. And we're going to do the same thing over again. One in the middle. Pull this down. And pull this up. Okay. Now I'm going to take this one and move it over here. And this one, move it over here. And you can see my computer is really reacting quickly to this, isn't it? la dee da Where is it? There it goes. Okay. If I'm not happy with that, I can move it up. And I can move this one up. It seems that I get something that's really computing heavily. It, uh, it slows down to a crawl. There, that's, that's okay. Now, the thing I like about this version, I can still see these little finny things here where the uh, air goes in the engine and keeps it cool. I guess that's what they're for. Okay, so we're going to say okay. Not bad at all. Let's add another curves layer on here. Just a straight S curve. And we'll put one there. And we're going to put one up here. Drag that beast up. And pull this one down. And see how it looks. There. Okay, and it's still got some of those things there. I maybe blacked it out just a bit too much. So I'll just take this up a bit. But it is an S curve. And you've got that nice uh, higher slope here. So that's a good contrast. So there you go. So if you want to uh, see how it looks, you can take that off. I kind of actually think I maybe like it just without this. But again, it's personal preference. So there you go. That's how you do it. It's as simple as that. Just make that inverted curve and then just start playing around with the midpoints and seeing what you like. And it seems to work best with this kind of an image. The uh, image has... Um, it's a static one. Not much is happening, not any movement. It's just a still life kind of thing. Uh, on my web page, I did it with a picture of a watch, and I kind of quite liked it. Uh, also, if we wanted to, with that color one, if I turn turn this into uh, a luminous, luminance uh, blend mode, it should bring the color back. I haven't tried this yet, so I hope it works. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, so you got a bit of the color back. I mean, those are weird colors. Um, so... It's not something that I would like, but uh, maybe you do. Each to their own. Okay, so that's how you do it. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you have fun with it. Um, it's not for everybody, I guess, because it's, you know, it's not reality, really, is it? But it is fun, and it looks kind of neat. So thanks for watching. I appreciate your time, and if you have any questions at all, let me know. You've got to contact uh, through YouTube or on my webpage, and if you've got a, an awesome solarization, Shoot me a copy of it. I'd love to see it. Okay, so thanks for watching. I appreciate it, and we'll talk to you later. Bye now.